So for today, we're going to be looking at Warlocks more specifically. We're going to be looking at your Crota set. So if you guys don't know, we usually review an armor and shader video. They're both right here. And then we get into the class specific video. So specifically the Hunters and Titans, you both have your videos right here. And now Warlocks, you guys are up next. Definitely some of the coolest sets that I made. I feel like I've said that quite a bit now, but I keep just wowing myself with some of these sets that I've made. So that's why I keep saying that. So... If you guys like the video like comment subscribe i really do appreciate it because a lot of people come to my channel and actually don't subscribe even though they might actually like the content so if you guys like the content like comment subscribe really does help and if you subscribe now and you don't like me in a few months later you can always unsubscribe it really does help uh not not you unsubscribing just subscribing subscribing in general helps me but hopefully i can keep your attention and you guys like me to keep subscribe but hit the bell notification to keep up to date with my current content because I do think it's worth it considering I post a lot for just me. I have no editor. I have no nothing. It's just me. So, yeah, let's just get into it. So to start off, we're going to be using the helmet and I absolutely love this set. So for the helmet, obviously Crota's helmet, but for the arms, necrotic grip for the chest piece anthemic invocation tabard for the boots, boots of the Taken King and then bone circlet from Crota. So. I absolutely love this set for the shader we're using lucid and this one is honestly one of my favorite necrotic grips look that I've made so surprisingly enough I'm actually not combining the necrotic grips with the corrupting echo bond that's a combo I usually do but for this one I was like I think the bone circlet will be enough because a I need a little bit more of that glow texture to like really makes it make this look look really good but also necrotic grip already looks good with this because of the glow so overall i actually love this set this set looks amazing for the shader i think i already mentioned it but lucid is what we're using which which is really really good because boots of the taken king like i've said in previous videos for the hunters and titans and even the actual taken king video which if you guys haven't seen i'll have it up right now the Taken King set is trash. Um, and before I get hate on this, specifically, it's trash because it takes shaders terribly. Now, if you guys don't know, um, TLDR, the armor is one of the best hive set pieces we've ever gotten in the game, Destiny 1 or 2. The only problem and the biggest problem is that there's a glow over the armor. So the thing that you're going to be fighting the most is trying to either cover up the glow or just turn it off completely lucid does not turn it off you get you will actually see a little bit of the glow over the armor but it's a green that actually hides pretty well within that so that's why i have no problem with lucid but i will tell you that it is a big problem when you combine it with other pieces specifically with shaders that have really strong glows so that is this one i really like this one i would probably say this is the best one but i still have to go through the other ones before i can say that confidently as for the next set, I actually went the opposite direction for this one. Instead of hive themed, I went with a more human themed. You guys will see why in a bit. So for the helmet, mantle of cormorant of the cormorant blade is what we're using. I rarely use this helmet just because I'm not the biggest fan of it. Very much vanilla Destiny 1 armor. And it kind of looks boring when you combine it with other pieces from Destiny 2. That being said, I think it goes really well with the Street Scholar robes. For the arms, we're going to be using Crota's armor. For the boots, we're going to be using the Geomag stabilizers. And then for the bond, we're using the Technologic bond. So this one I've actually used. I don't remember in which video I ended up using this one. I, it might have been for the Technologic. No, no, maybe. Either way, the main reason I'm doing this combo is because the Street Scholar robes has armor on the left side and then the crota armor actually has that ar that uh armor on the left side as well so it actually equal is e equalizes it which is super super cool and fortunately the right the the right side has that like black leather which looks really cool so overall i think this is one of my more favorite sets that i've made so much so that this is actually a set that i have in mind when i do a geomag stabilizers look this one and the ornament look that i've done before which i'll have it a, i'll have a picture up right now if i can find it if not i'll have a screenshot or whatever but it's one of my more favorite sets so now it's like i have a geomag stabilizer set for my base look the ornament and then the second ornament as well so i'm pretty much happy with this as for the next set, we're going to be utilizing the boots. And this one, I will have to say, is probably my favorite just because I haven't seen people combine it with the tech teching regalia's hood. But for the shadering, let's got, let's start off with that because I think it's important. For the shadering, we're going to be using Venomous. 
until we get to the corrupting echo bond because the unfortunately venomous turns it into a silver i kind of want a black in there so that's why we're using our erebos glands for that for the armor pieces tekken's regalia hood i think looks really good with the crota armor just because it gives the warlock a sense of like bouginess which i'm really not used to but it looks so good like i legitimately look like i came out of something from pff, a combination of hive meets fucking vivian from fucking uh dragon age inquisition i think it looks amazing for the arms we're going to be using grasp of the void ornament for the controverse hold just because i feel like it it makes sense in my head for this not only that it has a really good glow under the arms or underneath the like hands and whatnot so i think that's gonna go really well with the whole piece of the chest piece because the whole thing is green at least the green glow for the boots carapace boots is what we're using because a it has a really cool glow underneath and on top of the knee but also this is a high theme fucking carapace boots just makes sense and then corrupting echo bond because again i like combining corrupting echo bond with almost anything green and or hives so let me know what you guys think about this one definitely my favorite just because again gives me hive meets vivian from dragon age inquisition and it just looks fucking cool and then last but not least i have this one i'm gonna be honest with you guys it's not my favorite um specifically because crown of tempest the ornament for it the diadem of deceit you know like it looks good with with uh with the chasm of yule chess piece i guess it's just the boots kind of look boring in comparison to everything else that being said i definitely think anthemic invocation gloves could be switched out for something else because they look a little too clean um especially with the chess piece you guys chess piece has a lot of like degradation a lot of holes just looks like a rock and then the arms are just like very clean and metal looking so i feel like that's a little off and the arm or the bond is going to be the iron forerunner bond which i like the horns but again i think it's just the arms and the boots that i'm just kind of like whatever's on maybe the shadering as well organic adornment is a dope shader that being said i could probably switch it out for something else so that is pretty much it again i will probably say my favorite one by far is the third set just because of the fact that you look really bougie like this is what i would expect a like hunter not hunter uh a warlock hive lord would look like like something very regal but also terrifying to look at so let me know what you guys think warlocks did i do you guys justice i definitely think the third set is amazing so much so that this is actually going to be in my back pocket now not just for the controverse hold but just in general any hive piece that we get i'm going to immediately think of this set just because it looks really that cool so I appreciate you guys. Be safe. I'll see you guys later.